as I sat down to film this video, it was going to be a video of things that have really irritated me in the past couple of weeks because it seemed like a lot of things were piling up on one another and I was like, the world's gonna end. Like, it's, it's gonna end. You better start praying. But then I started with my first topic and the whole video ended up being about that topic because it's a heavy topic that you can't really just glaze over like that. So it ended up being quite serious and just my opinion on the whole Logan Paul situation. Subscribe! As much of me thinks like this is ridiculous, it's getting so much press, I'm only gonna draw attention to him, get him more subscribers and followers and blah blah blah. More of me thinks that it's more important to do the right thing and to talk about what happened because regardless he's gonna get more subscribers anyway and honestly I couldn't give a fuck about him. He could be successful, he could be unsuccessful. I do think that the way that like the news is talking about it and the media isn't the right way to go about it and also like Twitter people that are just like they're getting mad at him, which is great. Like, he, there should be repercussions for what he did. Um, but by the way, like, just quick little background. If, if you've been under a rock for, like, the past few days, um, Logan Paul vlogged him going into a suicide forest in Japan, and they came across a dead body, and it was hanging. And not only did he film the body, got up really close to it, um, filmed the hands. Uh, he was with a few friends, and... Their reaction to that was so weird, like, making jokes about it, I, I don't know, laughing about it, um, the thing that's, like, the most fucked up, I guess, about the whole situation was that he, he literally thought, like, he has so many people that work for him, and, like, all of those people literally thought that, like, this, that would be okay to put on YouTube, where his demographic is kids aged, like, 9 to 12, and... The only real disclaimer in the video was at the beginning, he was like, guys, this is the most real video you're ever going to see from me, blah blah blah. I have seen... It. Fuck, this is really hard to talk about. I thought it was going to be angry, but I'm just like emotional. I have seen um, someone die, and I have also seen a dead person that I just... <sighs> okay, I've watched someone die, and I've also seen someone after they've already been dead. Um, and... It's a feeling and a reaction that you cannot explain. It's, it doesn't feel real. It's so like almost out of body feeling. It's so disturbing, shocking, confusing, unbelievable. I don't have a word for it. And Logan and all of his friends reaction to that was nothing like that. It was like, no, I swear, I think there's a dead body over there. I mean, they act shocked a little bit for like a second, and then Logan's like, what, you never seen, a, you never stand next to a dead guy before? And they're just joking about it, and the girl he's with is laughing, and it's so bizarre. Like, the fact that Logan and all of his little minions that work for him thought that it would be okay to put this on the internet, like, Sure, he's a daily vlogger, he vlogs his life. Sure, vlog going into the suicide forest. Like, you're not supposed to even go in there, but like... And like, that's crossing the line in itself, but like... You know, he does crazy things. When they stumbled across that body, they should have cut the vlog right there, stopped it, came back later, maybe the next day, or in a few days, explained what happened in a in the right way, in a sensitive, genuine, empathetic way. I cannot comprehend how a human, or humans, all of these people involved, like there were so many things that had to, like so many hurdles that they had to overcome in order to get that video online. So many like crucial red flags, like first going into the forest, like okay, that's a little eh. Seeing the body, okay, that's when you should have known, first of all. Laughing about it, making jokes about it, ending the vlog like on a like a normal Logan Paul vlog note editing the video in the way that they did put uploading the video to YouTube and then Logan's half-assed apology that he put on Twitter that was literally more about him and his success than it was about him being sorry he claimed the video wasn't for views what was it for then like <laughs> There's no shame in saying that you're doing something for views because this is YouTube. We do things for views. We do things for 
people to see to get our content out to other people so that made no sense and then he did like a hashtag and an emoji like that is the first apology for a serious issue that I've ever seen with a hashtag and an emoji and it was bullshit and then he came out with like a one minute video where he apologizes for it but it seems <sighs> okay quick little disclaimer before I say this I absolutely do not like and I think it's very out of line when someone accuses another person that they don't know that they've only seen online of having a certain mental illness or mental disorder not cool like you don't know you're not their psych you're not their doctor they could be acting it could be this it could be that blah, blah blah you don't know so you're not allowed to be like hey like i think that you're schizophrenic hey i think you have borderline personality disorder you no, that's not okay that's so out of line however the only explanation that my brain can think of as far as how did this happen, how, like, how, how did all of these people think it was okay? How come Logan was the one that ended up taking it down because of the backlash and not YouTube? How come YouTube put it on the trending page? Yet videos of transgender people applying makeup are getting demonetized. Um, copyright things, they're so quick to go for copyright claims, even on a small channel like mine. Like, my things will get copyrighted so quick. But a video like that where they show an actual dead body, an actual person who had recently ended his life was so empty, depressed, lonely, and hung himself in the forest. He has family. He has friends. Like, there's no way that people that know this guy aren't going to know about this video. Like, it's all over the news. It's all, I mean... Like, I don't want to bring all of, like, the workers and the assistants and editors and even his friends into it because ultimately Logan does get to decide what goes on his channel and what doesn't. But the only explanation I can think of for someone to see a dead body say, hey, bring the camera over here, I think that's a dead body, to joke about it, to then upload it to YouTube, is sociopath. And I'm not here trying to say Logan Paul is a sociopath, but... I get that, you know, he had mentioned that he uses humor to cope with things and totally understand that if that's the case because I and many others do that as well. However, this is not, I mean, use humor to cope with things that aren't about suicide or people dying or abuse or things like that. I don't, I do not believe that a person with this is going to be drastic, but I'm just going to say it because whatever. I don't believe that a person with a soul... Now, obviously everyone has a soul, but I don't believe a person who is empathetic, sympathetic even, has... is able to feel love, empathy, compassion. I don't believe that a person that is capable of feeling those things would have the reaction that Logan did and all the actions that came after that, like uploading it and such. Um, I don't believe that's possible. I, I don't think no matter what you use to cope with mental distress or problems or whatever, I, don't, I, I think that kind of all goes out the window in a situation like this. And I think that is kind of psychotic. Like, I'm not gonna lie, it is. It's to kind of illustrate what I mean by that as far as even if you do cope with things with humor in a situation like this, ultimately your natural instincts would completely take over any coping mechanisms you had or anything like that. And you would be in your most raw, real state when you see something like that. Um, when I was in high school, I... <sighs> this is hard to talk about. I was talking to my boyfriend at the time. Um, in a parking lot outside of my car. I'm not gonna even say how... I, I'm not gonna say how it happened, but we saw someone that we know, that we knew, die right next to us. I can still hear the sound that it made. Um, okay, so obviously, the reason I'm using this as an example is because my boyfriend at the time was abusive to me. And he also was just kind of generally douchey to people. Kind of seemed like 
he had some narcissistic traits, um, even some sociopathic traits. Uh, just did kind of seemed like a soulless individual. But when this happened, I immediately saw him in his most like real raw state, and he was affected by that very hard. We both were. I didn't want to spend the video talking about, you know how could he possibly do that why would he possibly do that why didn't youtube take down the video why isn't youtube punishing him and i'm not 100 percent sure maybe they are i don't not i don't follow him the only reason i watched this video is because it was all over the news i feel like the only repercussions he's facing are like being verbal about it however he still does have his little gangsters that like saw nothing wrong with it like the I can't remember somebody said the video had something like 60,000 likes before uh, it was before he took it down after a few hours I really hope that like I really truly hope that that didn't make a young impressionable kid or even an adult or anyone feel not only like suicide is something that can just kind of be like oh and then like laughed about but also that um, it shouldn't be an option ever and um it certainly shouldn't be exploited like that i hope it, the video didn't trigger anyone though i'm sure with 15 million plus subscribers there were oh, thousands of people tr very triggered by that video i was triggered by that video not in the sense that like oh no i want to go kill myself but in the sense that like my ptsd came back in full force for a couple days it's just it's just so irresponsible and so just disheartening I, I just I don't get it like my brain cannot and I don't want people to come on here and be like you can't say he's a sociopath you don't know you're absolutely right I don't know but when I rack my brain trying to think why a human being would think that doing this was okay or why they would have the reaction that they did I cannot come up with anything other than that <laughs> I don't think that's a lapse in judgment I really don't I don't think it was a mistake and he truly feels sorry for it I think he lacks actual human emotions the weird thing is like I've seen his videos before I've met the guy in person okay I, I left that part out but I have met the guy in person I worked on a YouTube red promo thing a couple months back and I met him and even before this whole suicide video came out and all of this happened I always was like why does this kid feel like uh, why why does it feel like this kid like is always in a manic state and is always just euphoric he will do whatever he has to no matter what happens to other people no matter like if you notice he doesn't really have any like close close friends or people that he loves um I mean he's even a dick to his brother like even before this whole suicide video came out i had these thoughts like he has some sociopathic tendencies when i met him in person it's weird because when i had seen videos of both of them before of both jake sorry logan's little brother jake and logan i was always like okay jake is annoying as fuck like logan seems to be the more normal one but then i met them in person and it, jake was nice to me and he he was nice to people on set and he was nice to it, like he had all these friends around him and yeah the kid does like this video isn't about him and he does controversial things too but logan was so just no emotion besides like mania almost and no regard for anyone around him and no like the i, I wanted to make a video about this literally after the i worked on the set of this promo about how like strange she was and how like i was like this kid has sociopathic tendencies and once this happened, I was like, holy shit, like, this, of course it's the first thing that came to my mind. So, I am not here to diagnose anyone. I do not have my degree yet. I mean, I have my, my bachelor's degree, but I do not have my master's in psychology yet. But I'm also not an idiot, and I've also studied it for a very long time, and I've also, I also deal with mental illness. Um, so that's really the only explanation I have. Um... And if you're going to say that I'm clickbaiting this video by titling it what it is, okay, like, I just want people to see this. I'm not, obviously I'm not diagnosing him, like, hello, can't do that, but like, more than 100 people are sociopaths, and I've encountered many of them, 
they're very hard people to deal with. They're very hard people to talk to, to get through to, to evoke any sort of emotion out of other than shallow or fake. Uh, it's also one of the most difficult mental illnesses to treat because it, that and narcissistic personality disorder because it's it's like there's it's just like stone up in there. Anyway, I've talked about this enough. Um, I'm gonna shut up now. I have a lot more that I want to say. Um, <laughs> if you're struggling with mental illness, which I know a lot of you guys that watch my channel do, please go back and watch my videos about... I have a video reading my suicide note, I have a video about depression, I have a video about anxiety. I have lots of videos about mental health topics, eating disorders. Um, if you came here from somewhere else and you're seeing this, hi, go watch those. They're important. I, I really truly hope nothing serious happened because of Logan's video. I really hope and I know it would be hard to point to that as a cause but you never I don't know man it makes me feel really sick to think that that video could have caused someone to harm themselves or think that it was okay possibly in the future to have suicide be an option so of course I will leave links down below where you can get help um I don't know let me know your thoughts don't be a dick because I'm not gonna stand for that and I don't believe that anything I said in this video was out of line. So yeah, <laughs> thank you guys for watching. This was like a, this was very serious. If you're new here, like if this is the first you're seeing my face, please go watch my other videos because they're not like this. Like I just filmed a makeup tutorial yesterday. Um, <laughs> so yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye.